All right, guys, let's do this. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to loop a comp in After Effects using a handy expression along with time remap and also how to avoid a little bug that occurs when doing so. So here we are in After Effects. I've imported my background textures that I want to loop in a comp. So I'm going to select all of these and drag them down to this new comp icon. It's going to put all of them into one comp if I have this single composition selected. Hit OK. So what I want to do first is, right now they all go up to one minute, so I'm going to drag them down a little bit. Down to, let me just zoom in a little bit. I want them to go down to like four frames. All right. Still with all the selected, I'm going to right click on them and say keyframe assistance sequence layers. With no overlap, that'll just nicely sequence them like that. All right. Now what I want to do is trim my composition here. Set my endpoint right there. Right click trim com to work area. Kaching. Perfect. Now we've set up our comp for looping. Closing that. I have a comp here called main and I'm going to drag the background texture comp into that. So, we are going to apply something called time remapping. Right click on the layer, time, enable time remapping. And that'll place two keyframes. And what you want to do is drag the end, now you can suddenly drag the end of your comp out to the right. You couldn't do that before without time remapping. So we're going to drag it all the way out. I'll just zoom out a little bit to, why don't we just drag it all the way to one minute. Zooming in again. Right now nothing happens. It just goes, it doesn't loop, it just goes blank. So, this is where the expression comes in. So you want to hold down the Alt key and click, left click on this to add the expression. And go into this little flyout menu and go down to property, loop out type, cycle number keyframes. This is the one you want to be applying. Hit that. All right. So now here's where the bug comes in. You see, once I hit, well, let me just go ahead and do something to clarify this example. We're just going to make a small, with my type tool, I'm just going to put something in here to show you what I'm talking about. You don't have to do this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just to show you what I'm talking about. This expression is just going to show me what frame I'm on. You can see if I go to 5 right here, it's going to say 5. All right, heading back to the main comp. So we start out on frame 0. Going up, frame 1, 2, 3. This is where the background changes. 4, 5, 6, 7. This is where the background changes. 9, 10, 11. This is where the background changes. 13, 14, 15, this is where the background should, should be changing to zero. So we got to do a little magic on these keyframes here in order to wait, make this work properly. So every time you do this time remapping thing, you, you want to go to the last keyframe and just have, step back a keyframe and place one here. Go back to the other, the last keyframe here, and just change manually this number to zero. All right. So let's go back here. 10, 11, 12, it changes. 13, 14, 15, changes. So now it's going to loop. Change, 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 change. All right. 